Okay, it's a very short story. Um, but you made me think, kind of, you made me think of this. So I have this small habit, actually, I had to actually admit it to myself that I like covert missions. And what that means is I'm doing things covertly. I'm a teacher, so you have to do things covertly, you know, a lot. <laughs> so, but it works. You know, if you don't tell people you're doing something and you're just doing it, you know, that show versus tell thing, you know, where you're supposed to show people versus tell people. And we talked about it yesterday. I run out of words in the day. So the show versus tell works well for me. And that's my path to being kind of entertained by covert missions. So my team actually knows like what covert mission is she on now, right? But anyway, my, my favorite covert mission I ever embarked on was with Starbucks. Um, I have this love-hate relationship with Starbucks. Uh, you know, one moment they're like the mammoth place, and the other man, the other, they're like my best friend. So you know, I have this like weird relationship with Starbucks. So I was really aggravated a few years ago when I continued to go to Starbucks and they didn't have anything without sugar. This is for you, Joel, by the way. Um, ain't nothing without sugar. And I wasn't really caring about sugar because sugar actually gives me headaches and stomach aches. Um, thank you, Annie's malt. <laughs> but nonetheless, so I finally decided, well, they're not going to care if one person says. So one, one day I said, do you know why you don't carry anything without sugar to eat, like in this entire coffee shop? And of course, this poor barista, you know, it's like, you got it, <laughs> And so she's like, no. I'm like, okay. So here was my covert mission. I started, no kidding, for three years, every time I went into Starbucks, <laughs> asking, do you have anything without sugar to eat? Do you have anything? Because, you know, America's on this, like, sugar's bad for you, and we're all obese, and we're getting, you know, health issues. So I'm like, I'm not thinking I'm that odd, you know. And so I literally, for three years, every single time I went into Starbucks, and here was my rationale. I don't want Starbucks to think one person in St. Paul, Minnesota asked. I want Starbucks to think 3,000 people asked. And that St. Paul, Minnesota cares about sugar, non-sugar items at Starbucks. And sure enough, a year and a half later, there's non-sugar items at Starbucks, and I'm taking both. 